is Chazanga Tembo. Uh, my friends call me Chaz. Uh, originally, I'm from Zambia, uh, but I live and work in uh, right here in South Africa in Bloemfontein. I work for an organization funded by PEPFAR and the Global Fund, and uh, the organization called Ketimpilo, <coughs> which means uh, choose health. So in my work, uh, I do, um, uh, I'm an m and &E manager, monitoring and evaluation manager, and uh, my responsibility on the project, one of the many projects that Ketimpilo does is to oversee the evaluation monitoring aspect of uh, the advanced clinical care that we are funded to do. So advanced care, looking at complicated HIV, complicated TB, multi-drug resistant TB. So uh, that's what I do. My background really is more into computer science. I had computer science for my first degree and a postgraduate uh, diploma in monitoring and evaluation. And now I'm an MPH student, Master of Public Health uh, student. Um, why I came to summer school um, is part of the, you know, my, it's actually my responsibility in fulfillment of the Master of Public Health uh, learning. I, it's a distance program, uh, but I thought coming onto campus to get contact lessons was very important and useful for me, especially that <clears throat> my background is not really in health sciences, but in, in, in computer science. So getting that one-on-one -on -one with lecturers is, was, is one of the key things for me. Yeah, so I came to this particular summer school uh, to do qualitative methods and, uh, and health promotion. Qualitative methods was very important because if one understands the computer science field, we're trained in logic and uh, qualitative uh, methods is somewhat different from what I've been cultured to do in my previous training. So I needed to get that contact uh, so that I can get in-depth skills and knowledge on how to go about qualitative work. And I learned a lot in that week. Um, one of the key things that stood out for me was basically uh, how to conduct uh, focus group discussions in, uh, you know, <clears throat> how to play around with uh, qualitative data. And uh, really for me, there's a big difference. For example, I learned I, I cannot generalize findings from a qualitative uh, uh, study. Uh, and in my quantitative life, I knew that findings should be generalizable. So there's that difference that I picked up in my, in my qualitative course. Coming to health promotion, um, I'm, I'm picking up all the theories of change and uh, communication uh, being key in public health. And especially that we are working around preventive and promotional um, aspects of uh, healthcare. So, uh, health promotion, I think, is going to be very instrumental in my role as a, one, as an advisor to the program implementers, and also because my work involves a lot of uh, work plan um, participation. So I, I, I literally manage work plans for, for the organization I work on. So I think these two courses I've done in my second year of master's student uh, are going to help me, you know, to deliver work much better. Yeah, um, so that's sort of my experience. On campus, you know, there's disturbance going on, but uh, I'm sure we can find an amicable way of resolving what's going on. Um, it was a little bit inconveniencing in the beginning because we had to conduct classes off campus. Um, yeah, but things sort of have settled down and we're back on campus, so that's... Uh, you know, learning away from campus and being on campus is quite two different things and the experiences are different. Uh, the other thing uh, I found, <coughs> um, I would say, most interesting uh, in this course is that the, the multicultural and uh, multinational representation in the classes uh, bring in quite different perspectives to what we're learning. You know, um, 
yeah, we've got members from West Africa, from all over the continent, um, from Southern Africa, we've got quite a few, and East Africa. So really learning from other countries, how they're doing their programs. And I see also that they're quite similar things that we do, okay? And uh, yeah, and models can actually be utilized uh, across countries. And I, I thought that was quite interesting, yeah, especially when we started to look at uh, behavioral um, action programs. Um, the, what I foresee, uh, I could apply this knowledge in the future. Uh, I'm a manager in my, my job, and I've got quite a big responsibility looking at three provinces. Uh, yeah, so I see HIV and uh, TB as being, of course, everyone acknowledges it's a public health concern, but with this skill, after I do my thesis this year, I see myself contributing much more informed and much better, and um, especially that I've chosen a stream of qualitative um, research methods. I think there's quite a lot of context that we've missed in HIV um, because we've tended to focus on the quantitative side. So I think I, I'm going to contribute a lot more, you know, qualitatively. Yeah, sure. Thank you.